Hello everyone, welcome to Collaboration Coach. It's Matt, and in this video, I'm gonna give you some drawing tips for Microsoft OneNote. These tips are useful for anybody using OneNote on a device that supports a pen. So for example, I've got an iPad Pro and a Windows Surface Go. So the tips I've got for you today are, number one, how to turn ink, so what you draw, into a shape automatically. Number two is how to change what you draw into text. So you can write something out in freehand with the pen and you can automatically turn that into editable text. And then number three is how to write math formulas into OneNote and then have OneNote solve the math problem for you simply by recognizing what you've written. So let's get into it. The first one is ink to shape. Okay, so I'm doing my demonstration today on the Windows 10 version of OneNote on a Windows Surface Go. I'm in OneNote here and I've got a new page and you can see along the top of the toolbar, I've got the draw ribbon and then you can see I've got a bunch of buttons within there. So I've got the, uh, the pens, the shapes, the ink to shape buttons and so on. These are the buttons that I use when I'm doing my drawing. First of all, let's just draw any old shape with the pen and see what that looks like. I can choose a pen from the above, so I've just chosen the black one, and then I start to draw my shapes. And they're a bit rough because uh, I'm not so good at drawing shapes. So the first option we have is the shapes button at the top. We can drop that down, choose a shape, and then use the pen to draw the shape onto the page. Once you have the shape on the page, you can select it and you can resize it and move it around. So if you take the circle in the middle of the object and put your mouse on it, you can move that shape around. If you touch the shape, you can pull up a menu and then you can do things like rotate and flip. At any time, you can use the lasso button in the top left to grab all of the objects on the page in one go and then you can manipulate them all at the same time so you can resize them, delete them, rotate them and so on. And the next option you have is this ink to shape button at the top. This is slightly different in that you can start drawing freestyle the shape and it will complete it for you and straighten it. And it supports uh, a number of different ones like triangle, circle, rectangle and some others as well. And once you've used ink to shape, you can manipulate the object just like you could with any of the other shapes. So you can move it around, rotate it, flip it, delete it, copy it and so on. The next tip is to use ink to text. So this is useful if you're using the pen to write handwritten notes and after the fact you want to turn them into editable text. You just write your text down just as you would normally in OneNote. Then you can use the lasso tool to select the text. Once you've done that, it's an object just like any other shape. And what you can then do is choose the ink to text button, which will actually turn it into some normal text. So once you've done that, you can then select it, you can change the color, you can edit it just like you would a normal piece of text. So the next tip is to use the math feature. What this allows you to do is write freehand on your OneNote page with your pen, and you can write maths formulas. Once you've written your formula, you can use the lasso tool to select what you've written, and then you can use the maths button on the top right hand corner to identify the formula. Once it's identified it, as it has here, it will give you a set of actions that you can now carry out. So for example, in this case, we've got solve for X. So it will figure out what X is based on what the formula is that's been written. We can add the answer back into the page just with a click. And then once the answer's there, we can manipulate that just like normal text. So obviously that's a very basic example and you can get much more complex formulas. So one last tip for you, is, which is something that I do in meetings uh, because my handwriting's terrible. What I tend to do if, if I'm on a, a blank page is start writing and then go off all over the place. Like I can't stick to a, a line. So I tend to end up with a, a messy page. What you can do is use the view menu to add lines to your page. So you just go to the rule lines button. 
you choose the type of line you want so you can have uh, very wide or narrow lines depending on what you need and once you have your lines you can use them as a guide and you can also go full screen with the button in the top right hand corner so you haven't got any of the navigation bars on the left hand side so you can just write all over the page there are your tips for drawing with microsoft onenote if you have any suggestions on how you'd use it let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching